So first make a batch of low carb shortbread cookie. I've got a link to my recipe down below. And when you've half baked them, cut them into their final shapes and then finish baking them for about five or 10 minutes until they get however crispy you like them to be. They will be a bit crumbly if you over bake them. So maybe don't bake them quite as dark as I did here. Then you're gonna get a batch of low carb caramel and I've got a recipe for that as well, linked down below. And chill it in the fridge so that it's manageable and you can roll it in your hands. Add a little bit to the top of each of your biscuits. Make sure your biscuits are cold when you do this, otherwise the caramel is going to melt. Put those into the fridge so that the caramel is hardened up for when and doesn't spill over the sides. And when those are fully chilled, do the same thing we did for the almond joy bars, but we're going to coat the tops first and we'll worry about the bottoms in a second. All right, so all that excess chocolate that dripped down, I'm going to save that there. And when the top parts of the Twix bars have all set, you can remove them from the cooling rack and rewarm all that chocolate that dripped down onto your cling wrap so that it's liquid like this. Just place the Twix bar right on top and kind of carve out a line around its edges once it starts to set. Mm -hmm. 